Let's make a quick. <laughs> Let's make a quick meal. <laughs> I don't know how I managed to do all the practice ones perfect. And he's like, all right, we're doing it for real now. And I slip and hurt my foot a little bit, just a little bit. We're gonna do a quick meal. High protein, low carb, low fat, unless you want to add more fat in it. Um, but I'm going to keep it kind of lowish fat before we hit PRs today. So let's get everything. The only time we ever have pop. Yeah. It's weird, I know. Is that it? Sure. <laughs> All right, so I'm measuring out my shrimp. We are going to do five ounces of fish, right? You agree? So you, you agree? Or am I just choosing this for both of us? <laughs> Four. Shrimp, by the way. Oh no. We're good. Uh, this is the Aldi brand shrimp. I like it because it's cleaner, and by cleaner, I mean we don't like the poopies. So now they individually get inspected because we are crazy and we cut off the poopies. If they're fine, no dark. Toss them in. You see a little piece of dark? Poopy. <laughs> no. 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 Uh, next. Lemon. Lime. Lime. Not oh, lemon. Oh, oh, we didn't tell you what we we're making. We are making shrimp cocktail. All my Mexicans know what I'm talking about. Uh, recipe is from his mom. I'm pretty sure it's made differently. There's some that actually put cucumber in it, and I loved it the first two bites, and then after that I'm like, I'm tired of this damn cucumber. <laughs> it tastes like cucumber, the whole thing. Um, so it was like good and bad. I ended up not really caring for it though. Now we're gonna do three limes. Use my handy squisher. Squeezer. And just keep doing that six more times. Alright, so now we're gonna let this sit in the fridge. I feel like it tastes better when it's sitting in lime juice um, as opposed to putting everything in there and then eating it. I don't know if it's a thing or not, but it I feel like it. it is. It cooks it. It cooks it more than it already is cooked. Yeah. <laughs> so we're gonna put that in there while we cut everything else. Okay, so these are the ingredients you're gonna need for the shrimp cocktail. This is cilantro, by the way. It's not parsley. Cilantro makes a difference. Love it. I discovered it. When I married a Mexican, <laughs> his mama put in a lot of stuff and I fell in love with it. Cilantro is awesome. Avocado. By the way, if your avocado is not ripened, put it in a brown paper bag. Works. We did it for New Year's. Jalapeno. Tomato. Onion. Squirt. I know. Weird. Ketchup. And Valentina because it works on everything and anything. <laughs> uh, it's a little funny thing was I, this was like one of my favorite foods. And I finally decided to ask his mom, how do you make it? Squirt, ketchup? I was like, what? <laughs> you put what in it? <laughs> I was pretty shocked, I didn't believe it. Uh, but don't worry, this is not like, you're not drinking the pop. This is like you're marinating your shrimp in this. Um, you don't actually like, it's not a soup, it's a cocktail and you just eat the shrimp. Um, I'm gonna put that out there because I gave my brother some. <laughs> I gave my brother some when he came for uh, New Year's and he's like, uh, it feels like I'm drinking pop. And I didn't realize I had to tell him it's not a soup, you're not supposed to eat it like that. But yeah, he did. <laughs>
So as I'm cutting this uh, cilantro, I start to smell something odd. It's parsley, what I just warned you guys not to get. <laughs> But it looks like cilantro. Like this looks exactly like cilantro. What looks like parsley is usually like this. For some reason, the leaves look really different. So yeah, next time read, I guess, but we're not gonna put that in it. <laughs> it's okay, yesterday we didn't have cilantro. We ate the same thing, it tasted just fine, but I like the cilantro. Moving on to the onion. It looks like an onion. Let's hope it's an onion. Alrighty, we're done with chopping. It would have looked more pleasant had we had that in there. <laughs> Next time I'm going with him. He goes based off of looks. I read everything. <laughs> Alright, this next step, you gotta wing it. I know people like directions, exact portion sizes. We do this. About that much. <laughs> Same thing with this. <laughs> Alright, so now I'm pretty much gonna put it back in the fridge, go hit my PRs, and then come back and eat it. It's pro it's best to let it sit and kind of marinate and everything. I feel like it tastes better than when you prepare it and eat it right away. It's just a thing. But how we eat it is with saltines. We get the Jewel brand because it doesn't have the hydrogenated oil in it. And a uh, little thing, because obviously this is pop, you're not really drinking the pop. What you're doing is you're taking a scoop, putting it on. That's about all the liquid you get on it. And then you eat it. Uh -oh. It tastes better with that. <laughs> I mean, it still tastes really good. Um, that we don't add in the bowl to each their own, how much they want. My husband likes everything. Uh -oh made from a soup of Valentina. <laughs> a little bit too much for me. So that you get to add it however you want. Let's pop it in the fridge now. Anyways, we're gonna go hit some PRs, so let's go do that. See, we already feel the cold. He opened the door and I was like, could I just talk in here? Once I get out there, I wanna keep moving so that I'm not super duper cold. I'm wearing a hat because last time I worked out, we snapped it um, and I was about to give up on my workout and I came in here and I was like, I don't think I can go back out there and I had to put a hat on because I like my ears hurt when it's too cold sometimes and then it makes it feel like your brain is freezing and my jaw hurt and yeah, it just didn't feel right. Uh, but the hat helped a lot, so I'm doing it this time. Hopefully we're gonna have really good weather coming in the 30s, that's like summer for us now. <laughs> um, today we're only gonna pretty much do PRs. I'm going to try to get three workouts in. If I can only get two, that's fine because I'm gonna push it really hard anyways. Um, but I was trying to decide all day if I wanted my PR to go first to pelvic raises or to squats. I think squats. And the reason why I say this, I'm still gonna try hitting a PR in pelvic raises, but the workout I start with gets my best. And then like, if I put it off, the next workout, I kind of slack in a little bit. Um, so that's why I wanna start off with squats, see how heavy I can go. Um, and then pelvic raises, I, I feel like pelvic raises are easier. It requires a little less energy, a lot less energy than squats. And I feel like squats require like a lot more. So we're gonna start with squats. And yeah, let's see. Last time it was 215. We're trying to hit over 215 this time. So let's go.
All right, so since we're gonna try to hit PRs, it's not about a lot of reps. I'm not gonna try to get a lot of reps in. The point of it is not to like go till failure on each set. If you do that, good luck. You ain't hitting no PRs. I can't hear myself, so if I'm yelling. <laughs> All right, let's get started. So we're gonna end at 2.35. I'm a little disappointed. I know that that sounds crazy to some people. To me, it's because I did 2.85. So like I, now I'm like, holy, how did I do 2.85? 2.35 was such a challenge. Um, I'm only counting it as one rep. I cleared one. He, has, he doesn't help me at all when he's behind me. He kind of just, it's like the reassurance that if shit happens, he's got me. Um, so he, he didn't help me on any of them. But at least I count one rep, right? That counts for the books. <laughs> All right, so not next leg day, but the following leg day, we're gonna try to hit at least 240, 245. Keep keep raising those PRs. Um, but for now, I'm gonna kind of clear off the the bar and do some clean, solid reps and really engage those glutes. <clears throat>
five. Ah. <laughs> I only got three reps on the last one, so. I'm pretty happy with it. Um, the weather should be getting better. Hopefully that affects my lifts in a positive way. Every time the weather changes, I feel a little odd, uh, even if it is getting nicer and warmer. Um, anyways, let me know if you guys like more of like the recipes or to show you guys some more foods like that. We'll come up with more if you really like it. Uh, give the video a thumbs up if you're excited for me. You're reaching 305. I'm pretty pumped about that. Too bad my squats let me down a little bit, but I'll work on it. Having something to look forward to a goal is fun anyways. If you aren't subscribed, be sure to do so. Hit that notification button, which is the bell right by subscribe button so you're notified every time I post a video. And until next time, bye guys.